Hi everyone, this is Alyssa Miller with Girl Scouts of Southwest Indiana. And for today's tips and tricks video, we are discussing the four core pillars of the Girl Scout leadership experience. If you are not familiar with these pillars, they are STEM, outdoors, entrepreneurship, and life skills. And what the Girl Scout Research Institute has found through various studies is that girls are happiest and most successful in Girl Scouting when a troop incorporates at least one activity per pillar annually. So this could be a special badge that you are gonna work on with the girls, maybe a journey. It could also just be an activity that you are going to try, but it is important to offer a variety of program categories to your girls. Again, it's gonna keep them coming back year after year, and it's also going to cultivate the curiosity they have for the world around them, which is going to be especially important as they continue to get older and start seeing opportunities. Um, we know in the world, it can be very discouraging for girls in specific areas where they feel that that is no longer for them. And we want to show them the opposite as they thrive through Girl Scouts and that there are all of these opportunities they can tackle. So as a leader, it is important that you do not feel intimidated by any of these pillars. I know as I work with leaders, um, concerns of theirs are, I am not familiar with STEM activities or outdoor activities are not my forte. So we completely understand that. And there are two things you'll want to consider with this. First is that you're really gonna meet your girls where they are. So these do not have to be fancy activities you're doing in these categories. It's just exposing them to something new that they can try. So for outdoors, it may be something as simple as just going on a picnic or doing something, a game that you typically play indoors that would work outdoors, but taking that first step with them. And then for STEM, there are a lot of great resources on the volunteer toolkit where you can actually have unplugged activities. So for coding, for example, you don't necessarily need to have a computer for every girl. There is plenty that the volunteer toolkit offers where the girls are gonna learn about coding and algorithms and other topics through activities you are going to use that are hands on. So they're gonna teach the concepts, but again, you don't have to have that technology piece under your belt. Something else that's important to remember, the second thing, is that Girl Scouts needs to be a place where girls are encouraged to take on new challenges and fail. So while we want them to be successful, an important part of growing is tackling new challenges and realizing that we're not always gonna be successful the first time around. So when we're not, what can we do differently? How do we pick ourselves back up? Because it is way too easy for girls and women to feel that we have to be perfect. And if we cannot be perfect in an area, we may be too scared to try. Or if we do try, it can be embarrassing. We can have a lot of pressure and decide that activity, that area is no longer for me. So one of the best ways that you can demonstrate this with your girls is by showing them that you yourself are not perfect. So that may mean trying an activity that you feel comfortable enough to do with the girls, but you're really not very experienced in. Try it together, see how it goes. Even if it's not a major success, that's an opportunity for the girls to see how are we gonna reflect on this? What are we gonna discuss? What would we do differently next time? Would we do this again? Would we change something about it? So it's a great opportunity to discuss this as a troop and pull all of the Girl Scout leadership experiences together. So have fun planning this with your girls. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks. And as always, if you have any suggestions for our fellow leaders, let us know.